All right, let's be honest. I know you are looking for the easy way to lose belly fat and get abs. And who isn't, right? I mean, why would you do it the hard way if you could do it the easy way? Well, how can you actually do it without exercise though? If you watch videos like P90X or other YouTube videos, you're probably assuming you have to do three hours a day of plank. That's not necessarily true. Now in this video, I wanna share with you guys how to actually lose belly fat as best you can without any exercise whatsoever. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now, in regard to losing belly fat, the very first thing is to understand where your baseline is. So for example, when I say baseline, I mean male versus female. Your age, your historical weight, and your historical body fat, your, even your body type. For example, you may have been a leaner person genetically. You may have been an overweight person slightly genetically. Those are gonna affect certain things. For example, there is some research suggesting that different people have different amounts of carb tolerance. So a lean person may be able to eat more carbs and gain less fat than someone who's less carb tolerant. That's just an unfair fact. The other thing is your age and your gender. Obviously, your 22-year-old body is gonna be different from your 52-year-old body. There are many women I know that they're doing fine in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, and then they hit menopause, suddenly gain weight despite eating right and working out. And plenty of men that reach out to me in their mid to late 30s, as soon as they get really sedentary, maybe their sleep is getting messed up from having kids, they're pounding back three cups of coffee a day or they're having a drink every night, and they're noticing the belly fat creep up. What also matters is your body type to begin with. For example, some people, they have a lot of fat accumulation from their waist down. This is kind of that stereotypical pear-shaped body. Now for other people though, they're pretty lean. So the very first thing here for losing belly fat is to understand where your baseline is. Are you naturally leaner? Are you naturally slightly more overweight? What gender are you and what age are you? Because these are all gonna be factors that come into play. The second thing here is that having a flat stomach is still at a high level dictated by calories at the end of the day. For example, look at me as an extreme example in my late teens. I was doing no ab exercises and I was doing no exercise whatsoever besides playing video games all day but because I ate a healthy diet where I was raised and then when I went to college, I still ate healthy and cooked, I had a really clear six pack. Now, I wasn't fit at all. I was severely underweight. That was just genetically how I was. But what I'm trying to say is with no exercise, no planks, no ab exercises whatsoever, I still had abs, which should go to suggest that it's actually more about your body fat levels instead of doing exercises in order to get abs, all right? That's actually very important. So whatever method you want to go about, having the lower calories is up to you. Two of the things I recommend that are easy are intermittent fasting. For example, trying the ratio I suggested in the intermittent fasting video previously, or adopting a more low carb diet, which tends to be for people the two easiest ways that I've seen in order to eat better, which generally is, in my experience, the easiest way that people can actually eat less calories without feeling like they're eating less calories. The third thing here is to add 30 grams of protein to each meal. I've had clients do this that are both vegan and vegetarian, as well as carnivores that eat meat. What I find is that with people eating 30 grams of protein per meal, they are way more full, they naturally crave way less carbs, their blood sugar is more stable, they have better energy, and they lose more body fat. So one of the reasons is that higher protein is gonna increase the proper levels of, for example, testosterone, and also, a lower carb diet is gonna assist in rebalancing some of the hormones. For example, cortisol, estrogen, testosterone. So besides the 30 grams of protein with each meal, which could mean some eggs, it could mean a piece of meat, it could mean beans and rice or something else. Besides that in particular, the strictest version of losing belly fat without any exercise whatsoever would be basically a strict specific carbohydrate diet or a strict paleo, which would be basically just meat, plants, and fats. So almost every one of your meals would look something like this, where you have, for example, eggs, fats, and vegetables, salmon with a ton of vegetables and fats, chicken or steak with a ton of vegetables and fats. And that's been, in my experience, the most cutting end of a diet, where that's difficult for most people, but it's also the most effective in terms of losing body fat, staying full, and still being pretty healthy at the end of the day, because you're still getting protein fats and you're getting some carbs via the vegetables. So I hope that helps as far as the primer goes on losing belly fat without exercise. Now at the end of the day though, it's gonna depend on you. 
And for most people, it actually probably will take exercise. You can lose belly fat without the exercise, but to get the level of toning and the level of cutting that most men and women want, it's probably gonna take exercise at the end of the day to build more muscle mass and lose more belly fat, and you're gonna just look toned and fitter overall anyway. So I hope that helps. Remember, your tiny daily habit for today is to understand, look at where you are, adjust it based on your unique circumstances, you still have to decrease calories at the end of the day. Whatever way you do that doesn't really matter. Try having 30 grams of protein with each meal or going the most strict, which is a strict paleo. That's the best way to get the results I've seen without any exercise. But remember, you may need exercise to go the whole way to get the results you want. What's up guys, it's Alex. I hope you like this video. The best way to stay in touch is to grab my totally free guide, five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. And if you like this tiny daily habits approach, to not only getting fitter, but unlocking that 10 out of 10 success in your life, check out my book, Master the Day, both in the description there below or on Amazon. And if you send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, I'll send you a two hour bonus video course for free.